Hey Hot Zoners, how you doing? I'm your host Jason Robinson and in the Hot Zone this week we've got R&B superstar Mr. Brian McKnight. We are right here at Bergen Pack in Inglewood, New Jersey where he's going to be putting on a very special Valentine's Day concert for all the lovers out there. So let's go on inside and speak to him about his music, his career, his late great friend Kobe Bryant and so much more. Stay tuned because you're in the Hot Zone. How you doing, brother? I'm doing well. Good. How's the touring life treating you? Well, touring doesn't stop. My family likes to eat. Uh huh. Oh well, sure. Yeah, I like to eat too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to keep the lights on, food in the stomach. It's you all know, good. It gets, it gets much more difficult to put gas in a Rolls Royce. So what you got to uh -huh. do is you got to get out there and you got to you, you got to make a living. You got to feed. You got to feed the fam. Got to feed the fam. Why do you think your music resonates so much with the lovers and the romantics out there? When I first started writing songs, it was at a time when love songs were king. Mm -hmm. So you had Lionel Richie yeah. and Mike McDonald. They were all on the top of the charts. Mm -hmm. Coming out of the, the 70s, I'm not, I'm not dating date myself, but I got a white beard, <laughs> so I'm okay. Uh, it's, it's all good. It's you all know, good. We're the same range. Were, were the thing, and that's mm -hmm. what I grew up listening to. I think, and I think my voice and my writing skill lends itself to the songs that tend to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. And those are the songs that touch you in a, in, a, in a certain way. And there's one thing we all have in common. We want to love someone, and we want to love be loved back and return the same way. It doesn't always work that way. Right, it's right. That way for me. That's true, that's true. Lucky for you. For you. <laughs> it is working that way for me. Right. You go back from the days from, you know, One Last Cry to Any Time, right. you know, uh, back at one of my favorite songs. <laughs> now, out of all your music and all your songs, do you have one, because me and my girlfriend are always arguing about, what's our favorite, like, Ryan McKnight song? Right. Do you have a favorite song? Is that kind of like asking you, who's your favorite kid? It is like, it is like <laughs> okay. that, but I will nah. tell you, the music that I've written since Leilani and I mm -hmm. met mm -hmm. is the greatest music I've ever written. Okay. Because it means something. All those other songs that you all love, that yeah. you are coming to hear, yeah, right. they mean, ooh, yeah, that's how I bought my house. Right. That's how I did. <laughs> okay. you know, that, that, it didn't really have an emotional attachment for me. Right. Um, every song I've written since we met has been inspired by my wife. So your latest album is called Exodus, right? right. And that's going to come out in May? In May. Tell us uh, what the fans should expect. They should expect that this is the last one they're going to get from me. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Brian, listen. See, those are the rumors. That, see, those are the... I was going to address it. I'm saying it. Uh, okay. I'm saying okay. it. All right. Okay. I have Is been it? planning this strategy for okay. quite a while. And, okay. You know, there are other things that I'd like to do. There are other things I'd like to focus on. Okay. Um, I'd like to travel around the world with my wife to see those places as mm -hmm. opposed to just singing there. Um, I'll, I'll do shows for sure. Oh, okay. I'm All saying right. that this is probably my last record of original. The last record. recorded That's album is going to be. Number 20. Number so 20. Nice round number. Okay. Well, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> I like that one. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, we had the, uh, the sad passing of, of your friend, right. um, the late, great Kobe Bryant. How did that affect you as a friend? How did that impact your life? Well, first, I knew Kobe. Mm -hmm. I don't throw the friend word around okay. there. I, we mm -hmm. were cool. Mm -hmm. We did a song together when he was trying to do a, a rap. He was rapping, yeah. We talked. We yeah. spent some time together then. Yeah. But when this happened, I can't say that when other folks in my family have passed that it's affected me the same way. Mm -hmm. We watched Kobe grow up. Yeah. We watched him become a man. We watched him rise. We watched him fall. And we watched yeah. him rise again. And because he was around at a time just when the 24-hour media cycle was beginning, we got to see him work. Now, for all the people out there who are in relationships, who love their person, obviously, and there's challenges you're always going to have, you know, in your marriage and in, in, in my relationship and everyone's relationship, there's always challenges. What message do you give to the lovers and the couples out there to keep their union strong throughout all the challenges that they're going to face in their relationships? You can never, ever, ever mm -hmm. forget mm -hmm. what got you there. Right. I think that a lot of times people, just life happens yeah. and you forget how much you wanted one another, right. how much you loved, how much you sure. kissed one another, how much you touched one another, how What's much most you important? wanted to be, right. how much you talked to one yeah, another. Yeah. For us, we never have to think about it because it's always mm -hmm. the first thing on our minds. Right. When we wake up in the morning, all through the day. We are best friends, we are lovers, mm -hmm. we are everything to one another. Uh, uh, and we're never ever going to stop having that because we don't have to think about it. It just is what it is. <laughs> it and is hopefully yeah. everyone can find that person they can be that with. So what advice do you have to the single people looking for that right one to love? 
I think where we make our mistakes is that we go with the next available person. And that okay. person may not be the perfect person for you. They yeah. may have some of those things you like. Right. Uh, in our case, there isn't one thing that I would change about my wife. She, mm. has, she has everything I've ever wanted. She is everything I've ever needed. And because there wasn't one thing I said, well, she, it was, she, every box was checked. Right. I think that if you can find that person for you, you'll mm. never have to wonder about mm-hmm. whether or not they, and of course you have to be that for them too. You, you do, you do, exactly. <laughs> it's a you know, street. Yeah, you gotta she reciprocate the love, right? She told me and what she needed from me and I was like, anything you need, anything yeah. you want, <laughs> I am your man. Now I need you to settle the debate. Okay. I have a question that I'm always arguing with my sisters and my girlfriend about, okay? okay? And this is for single people. Okay. And the most thing I think is important when you're meeting someone for the right. first time is just, you know, conversation, you know, connecting with that person on a level, you know, I think that's very important. I think that's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Now, with that being said, do you think there's anything wrong with a man taking a woman on a first date to Applebee's? <laughs> no. I, there's I, another, mean, I, I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it really matters where you go, does it? If, if there's an I expectation that the first date or any date should be at the greatest restaurant in the world, I think we're, we're starting off on the wrong foot. Thank that's you. Necessarily now, that, that's <laughs> a man's point of view. Uh, okay. Because we've all been in that situation where you take somebody out and they order lobster on the first night <laughs> and they tell you at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah. Bye, <Thank> buddy. <laughs> it's undeniable that we should be together. It's how I used to say that I'd phone The basis is me to know If you don't know just how I feel Then let me show you right now that I'm the real If all things in time, time will reveal Yeah, one, you like a dream come true I'm Brian McKnight, and I'm in the hot zone. One, two, three, five, make you fall in love with me. If ever I believe my work is done, then I start back at one.